cannot believe how blind I am. I can't even see this thing recording. Okay. What's good, you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Monica, and I'm back again with another video. It's a happy new year. <laughs> how is it so far for you guys? I hope everything is going well. You know, that type of vibe. Everything is good. I really feel so good, though. Like, I was just thinking, I'm in a great mental state and I'm ready to start over again you know so yeah guys we are smashing our goals again here's to living life and being the hot girls with healthy vaginas yes so this video is about feminine hygiene so recently i had a q a on my instagram and thank you guys for engaging with me because sometimes you guys just mind me and you just ignore me but at that time yeah you guys are saying a lot of things and i learned a lot also i'm gonna leave down below the details for guyanese if you are not cypress and you're looking for a guyanese as i was saying i'm gonna leave down below the details for guyanese or you can just dm me on ig I, yeah i think i'll just leave them down below for you guys and then yeah it's gonna be easier first and foremost know your body know your body one day just take a mirror and look at the axis down there I know it can be a bit weird but then it's good to know how you look down there and you know you get that confidence and yeah and look for build up because you know when you're washing sometimes you open with the two lips that's the paint and then you just have to pull back the skin and clean <clears throat> that part okay because that's one thing that we don't really pay attention to but it, it needs attention and for my sisters who have nails okay just be careful when you're doing it just be gentle in it and yeah man so i've got my notes here as you can see we're gonna be learning today take your notes and sit back drink your water and listen to me on that note ladies let's drink water On that note, ditch all those fizzy and alcohol and stuff like that. This girl here is enough for you. Not only for down there, but overall your body, you know, your skin be feeling good, your skin be looking nice. It's winter now. You don't want to be having dry mouth and bad breath because you don't want to drink water. Let's drink water. Okay, the first point, this platform is not for ladies who are going to be out there bashing other people because whatever they're doing doesn't work for them we've got different bodies people do whatever they like with their bodies as long as as it works for you so no bashing each other in the comment section okay ladies so yeah let's get straight into the video let's get things straight ladies okay before we go any further no one smells like pineapple no one smells like strawberry no one smells like a garden of roses no one smells like a park everyone has their own natural scent right and this whole thing of saying no you should smell like this and this there's nothing like that it's meat you have to smell like flesh like meat but of course if you're having that stench that's so bad you just have to look into it and be careful but this whole thing of saying ah you should be smelling like strawberries and stuff like that you should stop it so my my first point is wipe front to back you know after you pee you don't do this you just have to you know what i'm saying now you just have to wipe and also the other thing i realized that after peeing you don't have to just use tissue of course you can just wash or if you have intimate wipes you can wipe because if you leave that smelly smelly thing on your panties you'll be having that strong stench and you don't want that so or if possible one other thing that i've done that i've learned to do is i carry another pair of panties in my bag you just fold it properly fold it and you put it in your bag because you know let's say if you're gonna if you know you're going to have a long day that's really advised because yeah down there you can also get tired you can sweat and stuff like that also the other thing when it comes to panty liners personally i wear them 
I can wear them every day, but it depends. Sometimes like, okay, I just need some air, you know, just wear the pants without panty liners because um, you just need cease to just breathe, you know, or when it's before my period or when it's right after my period because of the discharge and stuff like that, you can wear your panty liners because you don't want to be messing yourself up down there and stuff like that, you know. Also, the other thing is, um change your pants regularly or your tampon you don't want to be that girl who's gonna die of toxic syndrome shock is the word yeah toxic shock syndrome because you have your tampon down there for like a long long time and you know when it's full it's really so uncomfortable imagine you having your heavy flow and then you stay with your pet for a long time some girls do that i used to learn with one girl she would like literally stay with one pet the whole day and when she enters the room yeah you can know like okay someone is in their menses that is not right you don't want to be that girl and you're passing everyone is like and i realized like after they say you, you finish dressing up you know like this you just fa 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 like in between your thighs on your clothes of course not on your on your sister down there because you know when you pass you should be having that nice thing also you know body 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 mist it just it's not good like it's just not good so you know you guys you know when you're on your menses like your hygiene is to be like top notch because you just have to pay extra detail to everything because that's a very crucial time, you know. You don't want to be smelling like blood and everything. I know it's natural, but you have to try and combat that smell and do whatever you can, you know. So, yeah, also, I know my girlies will like those sexy lingerie and panties, you know. Those thongs, they'll be flossing your bum anyhow. They are cool and cute. You just do it for you just to feel nice about yourself. It, not everything's about your man, no. You can just wear a nice lingerie for yourself to look good. Come on, like, <laughs> please. Not everything's about men, but those panties, they're not so good. Just wear them once in a while and cotton panties, those magoko paint, aye, aye, aye. those are the ones. Because they are breathable and there's air circulating down there. Unlike those silk panties and um, sateen and what, 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 all those things, they're not so good. Unless if, if on that thing where, you know where the pussy stays there's gonna be that cotton cloth i think it's fine but i feel like if it's a cotton panty that's the one also sometimes just stitch the panty the same time you remove your wig when you're sleeping you remove your earrings you remove your brow when you're sleeping remove your panties just sleep like that or you feel like you're being so weird and maybe you stay with a housemate a roommate you're not so comfortable you can just wear like these shorts that you can wear when you're sleeping and don't wear panties and trust me it's so liberating panties are overrated guys yo ha same as bras those things are just oppressing us anyhow uh -uh. water 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 aman guys there's nothing that can substitute this thing you might drink a pineapple i know it's good pineapple juice but i feel like the actual fruit is the one that works you can drink maybe they say nah i will cranberry juice but water is number one you don't want to walk in walking out there dehydrated during rain like you need water in your system water is everything please no matter how thirsty you are you drink the most expensive juice in this world but there's that thirst that needs water you know so drink your water and everything but cool the same applies when you're washing your baby your vajayjay your kuchi you don't need to be putting all this funny stuff i used to think that when you're washing yeah like you know scrub 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 inside i didn't know and until one day my mom told me about like no use water only and i think at that time i i used this other green bar so from back home as i was busy questioning your scrubbing you know to get some trash each 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 like i was like oh my god oh my god what is this and then i'm like no you just use plain water that's fine unless if you want to clean like the vulva outside you know where, where the pubic hair is you can just use your dove and scented soap your dove soap or that baby soap i use nani sometimes nani soap sometimes 
so and then you just clean 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 also just shave or trim if you don't want to shave because of the razor bumps those things are terrible you can use um you can just trim them or just waxing i've never i've never done waxing because i am so scared but i want to give it a try so yeah just wash wash and you know when you're washing like i said before that clitoral hood clean it there's one thing i don't know maybe it could be controversial for, for other people but my mom used to tell me that when you're washing you know especially after right your after your period you want to still be having that discharge but you can just put your finger and just you know remove that dirt that's me i do that please if, if you also do that please comment down below so i know which i'm not the only one who's doing crazy things it's not crazy but it's part of my routine you know just clean remove all that discharge because yo yeah after period thingy it smells so you just have to be extra careful you do your panty liner and do all that jazz so this thing about the yoni curls i was talking to one girl my dear and she was like it affected her she had yeast infection and what 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 what, what. <sighs> guys they were saying no it's good for detoxing it's good for fibroids and stuff like that i really don't know hey like i don't know i'm never gonna try it because i'm scared we can't be putting things up there guys let's stop doing that one girl was like oh no i'm going for my da the appointment you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. like okay i'm gonna because like i'm gonna put you see those mint holes sweets i paint i put those holes by the opening i'm like by the opening for what guys let's not put things down there just because you want to impress men no we're not doing that please thank you because most more things we have in yeast infection this thing is very 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 sensitive you know yeah um on my way to you they put garlic i mean this is not meat do you want to make stew with your thing down there you shouldn't put those things guys if you feel like something is not okay just go and go and see your gynae go and see your doctor stop looking up these things on google because when it comes to this one down there you really have to do the right thing okay um let it breathe just let it breathe i think i mentioned this before previously sleeping commando and shamo and jay let's not oppress this girl just let the girl be please thank you so yes guys and the other thing probiotics take them i don't know every day but for me i just take them three times a week you know and also cranberry pills i didn't just bring them here they in the other room but you take them every day even plain yogurt greek yogurt hey and then this other friend of mine would say she puts that yogurt on the on the trombone i don't know maybe it works for her but hey guys i'm scared i don't know maybe you guys can try it and then let me know how it goes but greek yogurt is very good and yeah man she is to more healthy vaginas and healthy uteruses on that note pap smear i've never gone for that thing yes i give birth but i've never gone for the pap smear this year when i go that i wanna go and do like the proper routine checkup and you know take care of yourself i heard it's a bit uncomfortable but i'm i'm so scared <laughs> i'm gonna try it i need to go and try it because guys these things are so serious you know we just have to take care of ourselves and if you're sexually active you know you just have to do it and you can't just allow any man that you don't trust to put their d up you little girl that you know your yoni is sacred it's special you can't just let any chicken joke to be coming inside you and doing their things whatever inside there because you know also that thing semen eat off your pH balance so you just have to be sure and practice safe sex right thank you the other thing that can throw off your pH balance is lube I don't know if it's if silicone based or water based some people they are allergic to those things you know so you just have to be careful um make sure you don't get any funny infection and let me tell you one thing guys I feel like guys are misinformed when it comes to the ladies reproductive system they think because oh she's smelling fishy she's got a fishy smell ah gazy how can you go gaza she doesn't bath it's not about that i feel like when it comes to guys they shouldn't just be focusing on them being um 
satisfied and not knowing what we women go through, you know. Or someone will be like, okay, no, it's fine. You can get the plan B. Do you know what it does? It's not a sweet. Do you know what birth, birth control does to us? Like, first of all, do you know what your unclean weapon can do to someone else's vagina? You know? Please, guys, learn to bath. After you pee, you wipe. Balanced diet. Drink water. No one said planning is only for women. Please, thank you, guys. Drink that because some of you will be testing like metals and stuff like that. I know this is too much information, but come on, guys. We're adults. You know, these things are real. Someone out there, no one tells them all these things. They just have to hear from the streets, and the streets can be telling you the wrong stuff, you know? So, yeah, man. I feel like, guys, let's stop judging women. Like, ah, she's got a fish. No. The same guy is saying that he's the one who's causing, causing the girl to have this infection. Think about it. Because you're dirty. Because you don't know how to clean your balls. So, <sighs> that's a story for another. And mind you, yeast infection can just come because your partner is not clean. It can also come because there's, there's too much moisture down there. Maybe let's say after you shower, you don't aerate, you don't let it breathe. What I do when I shower, I lotion my body, lotion your body and everything and everything. I do not immediately wear a panty. Just let it breathe. Because if there's too much moisture down there, it can cause some funny smells or everything or something like that you know so after you shower just yeah just you know and then when it's a bit dry then you can dress up sharp and as i was saying yeast infection does not come because your partner is dirty and everything it does not develop i mean it can also develop because let's say for example you kept your period for a long time because of loop Maybe your diet or you're not as hygienic, you know. Some might be like, ha, ah, this one she's just sleeping around. Not everything because of of sex, sex, sex. Not even about that. So guys, let's be informed. And there's BV and all those things. If you have those things, just go into your gynae and get the right medication. Don't be listening don't be listening to your friends and say, No, put this, put this. Hey, please guys, we don't wanna die young. Because we want to be impressing these niggas out there. Uh, anyways, you guys, thank you so much for stopping by and watching my video. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you like what you see here. If you're a returning subscriber, we're a regular regulars, show game. Thank you so much for the support. Cheers to healthy vaginas and uteruses. Commando. Bye, guys. See you in my next video.